Hey, Bob Gardner here from liberatorman.com here for this next episode. Like last, uh, last night we had something happen. Um, I was helping my son with his math homework and there was this fascinating concept called order of operations. You remember that from when you were in grade school if you didn't do math any, anywhere beyond those? Okay, <clears throat> so we were sitting there working on this order of operations problem and he does this whole problem. He does, oh, he does all of the mathematics beautifully and he gets an answer that is like way out of left field. Okay, it's a fraction problem and it's like four thirds divided by, I mean, four thirds plus seven tenths divided by whatever. And he did the plus first and then he did the division. And as a result, he got like 190 over 63 when the answer was supposed to be like 12. Um, and what was interesting to me um, was it wasn't that he was incapable of doing the math. He was. The only thing that happened was that he got it out of order. And as I considered that, like that thought started rolling in my head. Here was this beautiful child of mine. Like he's 11 years old. He's intelligent beyond anything I could possibly imagine. He's got gifts and talents inside of him that I don't even have that are amazing. He operates in the world in a powerful way. He makes friends so easily, and yet he messes up on his homework, not because he can't do it, but because he simply put it in the wrong order. Now, so many guys that I talk to when we're dealing with um, pornography addiction, they've tried everything. They've tried so many different things. And what happens is they've put some of the work in the wrong order. And the first thing that needs to happen is the first thing that almost always gets skipped, and that is a, a process of stabilizing your life. A process of making sure that you have some routine, some process in, in your day that allows you on a daily basis to feel like you have some power, some control, even if everything else is going to chaos. And this is the very process, like when I talked to a social worker the other day, she came up for a little bit of healing work. And so I was sitting there talking to her and she said, this is the exact process that we use in social work too is that you have to like stabilize their life a little bit before you start unpacking their psychology and everything. So it's not a new concept. It's not something I came up with on my own. It's one that like many people around the world are coming up with. And yet here is this thing that goes on as people want to get free of porn addiction or they want to get unstuck in their life. And the first thing that they do is they try and attack it head on, attack the problem head on without first stabilizing their life. There is an order to operations. When you consider that maybe there's a problem with your marriage and you're wanting to fix the problem and the first thing you do is you go and fix the problem instead of stabilizing your life, a lot of times stabilizing your life fixes the problem because what was really going on is that you were unstable. You didn't have a process that, that made you feel powerful. But when you're, in, you're on point and you feel powerful every day, then when you go to address the problem, you're not like just attacking it like crazy and causing more mayhem than help. Okay, when you have a problem with regard to doubts in religion, it's a similar thing. People go and attack the doubt and they read all of this stuff and they read all this literature about it, but they don't have a simple spiritual process that stabilizes their life in a particular way. And as a result, oh my goodness, well, the, all they do is get stuck, sucked into this one question that they have that dominates their life rather than having a life that is stable that allows them the space and the time to really investigate, come to a conclusion that is not out of anxiety or panic, and then finally make a choice and move with it. Stabilization of life is step number one, but it's too easy, it's too often that we see the problem written out on the sheet just like my son did, and just start attacking the first thing that we see. And usually the first thing we see is the thing that's causing us pain, even though that's not really the root of the issue. And so here I come to you this morning with this one simple question. Where in your life are you getting things out of order? Where might you, you better seek for a way to just simply stabilize your life and give yourself a little bit of a routine that gives you power instead of attacking problems head on first? This is Bob Gardner from the Liberated Man podcast, a video podcast here on YouTube, and uh, coming at you, talking about fatherhood, pornography, addiction, getting unstuck, and general life principles, and we'll see you next time.